Okay, I started the simulation and the simulation is now finished. I just want to show you uh, the results as always, the solution data. And you can see in the plot that uh, we had uh, 10 number of pa passes and uh, we ended up having uh, around 35,000, actually around 30,000 tetrahedral in order to be able to finish and meet the, basically the target here uh, for the energy error and delta energy percentage. Um, I'm going to close that and uh, show you what we have uh, in terms of H on our design. I'm going to press Alt key and uh, double click on the top and uh, go to the uh, the max hole um, and then we have results and then we have create field report and uh, actually I might go with the field and uh, I just go with H and then um, over here I might go with the H value I, I think the better is the H uh, the better one is the H vector okay sorry so let's go with the H vector here and it says that you have to select something in order to be able to uh, do that so let's first uh, select the global X Y so make sure that we are in this uh, global coordinate system and repeat what I've done so you basically go to the fields and uh, you select the vector here and now that we have everything uh, selected I'm gonna go with the all objects and press OK um, the results that you see here is not exactly what you want to uh, to work with so what you would do is you basically uh, modify the art attribute and uh, you basically scale down uh, you can actually go with the logarithmic views it always uh, gives you a better um, most of the time it gives you the better range and um, however if you are interested you can actually um, go to the arrow and just instead of mapping it don't map it and make it a bit smaller um, well it's it's a small enough I guess um, okay we just want to see the results so um, this maximum minimum is also seems to be a bit off the maximum is too high um, I'm guessing if you put um, instead of uh, 28,000 if you put 10,000 uh, you will get much better variety of colors and uh, even 8,000 seems to be a better deal um, okay so uh, I'm gonna show you the better so actually I want to just zoom in so what I'm gonna show you here is uh, look at the direction of this uh, field so you can see that uh, because all of the excitations were in the same directions uh, we have the same direction of fields going inward um, here so now if we so that basically tells you that you can actually uh, model this part for example one of these uh, quarters of this full model and in that in order to do that you basically want uh, to basically duplicate everything um, without uh, um, inverting the edge however in the master and slave boundaries you can actually say invert the edge on uh, the slave uh, basically by the coordinate system so that uh, you can see that here it's not uh, necessary also if the coordinate system that we are selecting is like um, is uh, is different then you can say here you need to invert it but um, in this other scenario where basically I'm gonna I'm gonna do the simulation for you to see the other scenario uh, you can actually say uh, I want to um, put the direction for the current excitation for these two fellows for example uh, in different direction 
and in that case everyone is not going inward all of the 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 edge field would not be uh, going inside the coils but then you would have some going inside and some going outside something like this and so now you want to wonder how you can um, basically uh, cut those one and um, I think interesting part would be to see um, how you can actually how much flexibility you have with the master slave um, boundaries to basically create both um, uh, of these two uh, different conditions so uh, let me uh, talk less and uh, show you uh, more uh, what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna first copy uh, the, the entire design that I have and right click over here and and paste that and I want to call that basically odd meaning that half of them are um, basically uh, up and half of them are in the, in the, the excitations are in the negative um, Z so basically I want to put the current 2 and current three uh, these two these two people current two and current three um, also let me just double check that I'm doing it right so let's say that for example this and this is gonna be negative so it would be one and three so let's say that the properties of 1 and 3 I just swap the directions so here I'm gonna swap the direction of the current so the current is gonna be in a negative um, so I'm gonna show you, you see that the current is a negative C so now we will have a different direction for the field and let me just uh, do a quick um, simulation over here so that is okay and um, I want to call the other full model that I have I want to call it even so when we are looking at the results we can see um, how basically the result will change so let me run the simulation for odd and even and uh, uh, again uh, and uh, we will compare the result after the, the simulation is done Okay, the simulation for the odd uh, and even model um, has finished. So you already saw the simulation result for the even model where all the excitations were in the same directions, meaning that in all the four coils, uh, coil, we had the same directions of the current uh, turning inside the coils. However, in the, in the odd mod, the other, in the odd model, uh, we had two coils running in different directions than the two other coils therefore we had two as you can see here two um, H um, going inward and two H going outwards from the coils now that means that the, the, the basically the, the edge field is going from one coil out and splitting into two going into one uh, and the other one that is sinking the edge same as for any other of these four however here we have all the four coils are sinking and uh, getting the, the edge fields from center uh, towards themselves so now the question and the reason that I'm putting these things out here is to actually talk about the symmetry and basically the odd and even modes that you can find in one quarter of uh, both of these two models and by one quarter I mean for example just consider the coil red which is called coil 3 here so the coil 3 uh, if I hover the mouse you can see the name co coil 3 so the coil 3 here um, I can actually just uh, start simulating the coil 3 only alone and define a proper uh, slave and master boundaries where the master uh, will di dictate the edge field on the on the slave boundaries as if there are actually other three coils available and they're actually affecting the the coil that I'm talking about which meaning the coil 3 uh, so depending on how I am uh, applying the master and slave 
uh, situation here, I can achieve either the odd mode or the even mode. In the even mode, you can see that on the left and the right, basically you all have the same direction for the current and the same conditions for each side of the red coil. Um, uh, by each side, I mean this side and this side. Basically, we are going to calculate only this square here. So if you split the design, you can see that everything is happening the same thing for the two sides. So I can say master and a slave are the same. So if if whatever you found in the the master side of the of the uh, of the plane, uh, basically apply that on the slave side, and um, these two are going to be exactly the same. And therefore, it will create the situations where you can see the the, the flow of the, the, the edge fields will follow the flow of this situation here. However, if we say no, in this case, the slave and masters are actually opposite of each other, you will see that the flow of the edge and the flow of the edge here will actually follow the situation that is depicted here. And the reason that this one is the negative of this one is because the current of one of them is the opposite of the other one. So one of them has carrying the current clockwise, the other one is carrying the current anti-clockwise. And therefore, you will see a difference, in, I mean, 180 degrees difference on each side of that. So let me uh, show you in the next video of the same tutorial here, uh, which is all going to talk about the slave and master boundaries, and uh, show you how to split this design into one-fourth and start simulating that with this uh, boundaries and see how you can achieve the odd scenario and with a small tweak into your master and slave uh, boundary uh, property you can actually achieve the even uh, uh, scenario at the same time very easily very fast so stay tuned and uh, follow me in the next video